On the table today we have Lego Mixels Series 5, The Return of the Frosticons. And the new Mixels are Krog, Chilbo, and Snoof. Snoof, Snoof, Snoof. Starting off with Krog, set number 41539, 60 pieces. And there we have Krog and a menacing little Nixel. Krog is looking extra grumpy for some reason. I can't quite put my fingers on. Oh, wait a minute. I got these mixed up. Oh, I'm so silly. I got these little ice shards stuck on Krog when really they go to this Nixel here. I mean, gosh, you know, I've been building Mixels this longest time and I can't believe I pulled that off. So there's the appropriate way to, to work these guys. Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. I did it wrong again. It's not the little ice shards. It's these feet. These feet. No, no. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the face. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? That was really, really horribly played, but there we go. The correct way to build your Krog. Krog is pretty cool. Uh, I think he's my favorite out of the Frosticons because of this uh, great central eye with these little ice shards around it. I kind of like that, kind of fun and different. Kind of move these forward a little bit. Two goofy little arms back here and his wide opening mouth because apparently this guy eats everything, including this Nixel. Um, he's got little kind of flat feet on the bottom there and kind of a neat disc that he builds off of. A nice big red tongue inside so he's quite fun I think definitely my favorite because of his silliness and then we have the Nixel with this pack and we've got a three eared Nixel three ears on his head there it looks like uh, two little feet on there and uh, kind of movable arms if you want to move those around I kind of like how they do that now let's look at the Mixel with big dark eyebrows Chilbo set number 41540 65 pieces. Here is Chilbo. Amazing how quickly you can make a Mixel look mean by adding some dark eyebrows up on his noggin. And it, perhaps it's these claw arms as well. He just has this grumpy demeanor. Uh, really looks like he wants to get into a fight even though he is more of a know-it-all. Uh, has those uh, frozen brains up top though which I kind of like. All these pieces uh, of triangles up there kind of making this ice crystalline brain up there. Other than that, he's pretty standard in the Mixel world. Two legs, two arms, standing tall. Uh, not my favorite Mixel, but certainly not a horrible one. That is Chilbo. And finishing off this new Frosticons trio, we have Snoof, set number 41541, 54 pieces.
and there we have the Mixel Snoof. As creative as this Mixel is, with skis for feet, I can't really get behind him. For some reason, I'm just kind of thinking he needs a little more development. I don't know why. Uh, it feels unbalanced to me or something. Uh, there's some interesting things going about him with his head on a long neck, being able to move it in and out for better ski uh, abilities. And I like his hands, how they kind of go up high, or his arms. And he's got the cool little uh, projectile parts for the max in the back here with the uh, ice shard tail, the double tail. But, oh, and he's got this nice little shark uh, fin up top too. Lots of neat things with him, but for some reason I feel like there's something missing with him. He does like to rock a lot. Uh, but yeah, that is Snoof, the ski-footed curiosity mixel that apparently always gets into trouble. Together we have the new Frosticon cousins on the table, Krog, Chilbo, and Snoof, a wildly entertaining, frozen, chillaxed bunch. I might have been a little harsh on Snoof and Chilbo in the review. Don't worry, they're still awesome toys and are a lot of fun. I'm just saying I love Krog so much that Chilbo and Snoof felt a little bit boring to me. I mean, Krog is just wildly entertaining with that huge mouth, open eye, shards around his eye, and the little, little hands here. Chilbo just kind of scares me with his eyebrows, but he's still pretty amazing Mixel. And again, Snoof has so much potential going on with all this different uh, body style of his with the ski feet and the projectiles in the back and the arms and the moving head neck thing. He's still quite a bit of fun. And so are these new Frosticon cousins. Now it's time to do that thing we like to do where we go online, look for the new Frosticons Max PDF online, and I think it's going to look something like this. The all new Frosticons Max. This guy is pretty interesting. He's got a really cool wide arm span going on with him. A little bit shorter than most Maxes, I believe. We've got an opening head up here on top, a nice wide opening mouth with some sharp teeth as always, an ice shard thingy up on top of his head. We've got kind of these ice shard wings coming out of his back or a double tail, I guess. We've got little stumpy feet, uh, but they're quite uh, sandwiched uh, pieces going on in there and they're quite heavy, uh, nice and stable and a nice little body too, pretty full and heavy. Uh, now we've got some nice effects on this guy. We have uh, some projectiles finally with the Maxes. I've always felt like the Maxes were kind of missing something and projectiles really make them kind of what they need. Uh, so yeah, just on um, this guy, a simple uh, bolt here that you're gonna press here and well, it's gonna kind of halfway pop out. Maybe it wasn't in all the way. Let's try that again, maybe up high. Yeah, I'm doing this awful. Try it one last time. Well, anyway, they don't fire very well on me today, but they can shoot a little bit if you do it just right. But that's pretty neat. I'm really glad that they uh, added those in with this guy. Uh, feels like uh, the Max has always needed something a little more powerful to them. Uh, and with these newer Series 5s, newer Series, we're seeing a little more and more uh, than the original Maxes. But pretty cool guy. I like this guy. He's got some uh, good character to him. He looks kind of half happy, half uh, ready to go. So I like him a lot. And let's bring out the original Frosticons Max. We'll have a little bit of a Cousins reunion here. Uh, there we go with the original and the new. So original is a little taller, a little lengthier with his tail uh, going on here. Really love the original space helmet eyes with this guy, just funny. Uh, he also had a wide opening mouth. Uh, so the two look really good together. Uh, I think they make a good team of Maxes, and it looks like they did good with the Cousins. And let's bring out the Clinkers Max one more time, and the Lixers to show off the Series 5 Maxes all together. Pretty great uh, group this time. This was a fun series to get into. The three tribes were very unique together. Uh, yeah, we've got a reissue with some cousins of the Frosticons, but the Clinkers and the Lixers were quite a lot of fun to build. This guy is still licking everything. <laughs> Uh, really fun group together. The color scheme works really well. The yellow, the blue, and the gray gold are a fun bunch to build. 
So anyhow, that is the new Series 5 Frosticons, Max and some of the other cousins of the Frosticons. Pretty good team to look for. Find them now, spring of 2015. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Hey, let's bring out Snoopy and give him a hand for helping out building the new Frosticons Max. Okay, not what I intended, but thank you, Frosticons Max.